Google says it will block its own search engine to Australian users. Australia's government wants Google to have to negotiate payments with local publishers and broadcasters for any content that's included in search results or news feeds. Google is pushing back, saying it is willing to pay for some content, but not what's included in the government's current proposal. Google is now threatening to block the search option for Australians if those new codes are enforced. Rapper Jay-Z wants to help minorities get involved in ownership of marijuana businesses. The rapper and business entrepreneur is establishing a $10 million fund for minority-owned marijuana startups. He notes people of color are only a small fraction of those making money from the $20 billion a year industry, predicted to grow to $70 billion by 2030. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti says at the current paces of supply and demand, his city won't be appropriately vaccinated until June of 2022. The mayor also said he doesn't expect the availability of the vaccine to stay at its current pace. Garcetti says the city has increased staffing at the five city-run vaccination sites to shorten wait times. General Lloyd J. Austin has been confirmed by the Senate. He's now the nation's first black Secretary of Defense. Before his confirmation, concerns of the Army vet's status as a recently retired general complicated the process. Austin required a waiver that exempted him from the rule that prohibits a military officer to serve as Secretary of Defense within seven years of retirement. This is President Joe Biden's second confirmed cabinet member. Peach Tree Corners in Georgia has set up special cameras in government buildings. But they're not being used to track individuals. They're there to see whether people are social distancing and wearing face coverings while in public. Authorities believe this information will help them better understand people's habits so they can develop new strategies to combat the pandemic. The plan has received criticism. Officials stress that anyone caught not standing six feet apart or not wearing a mask won't face any charges or even a fine. Here you go. Five things to know before you go to bed.